Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel. I am said Stevie. Today we are looking at a couple of budget knives that I've been hearing a lot about and I wanted to get them in, check them out, and probably use these as future giveaways. So, as you can see, we have a Sen Cut and we have a Brother. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, kitcha. I'll let's just go with the Brother first. So, Brother is a company that I first heard from about from Pocket Metal. Uh, he was talking about Brother, and then Matisfaction picked up a couple. And then this one specifically. I was introduced to by uh, Sobix. Scooter is the one that kind of showed me uh, this one. So let's get into it. It's still Monday uh, and I am carrying uh, for my card on Monday, the Coke Tools XTC KTC3. That's on loan from Urban EDC Supply. You may have seen my video about that. So let's get into this here. So this is a uh, made in China knife. Um, as you can see, uh, comes in the box here. I think the, I forget what the parent company name is. I remembered it and then I forgot, but this is specifically the brother. I don't have my glasses on, I should. This is the 1503BN Cowfish. So, it comes in a very uh, nice uh, canvas canvas bag here. So that's that's nice. I dig that. I really dig that. And this is as I had been told, definitely uh, it's coated in oil. So let me grab a paper towel because I don't want to get my hanks all. Actually, I got this shop rag here. I'm just going to use to uh, kind of wipe it down. I don't want to get my hanks all oily. I don't mind getting them dirty, but I don't want them all oily. So here we go. This is a... Well, I thought this was a slip joint, but it's actually a lockback in a white a cow bone. Look at the, this thing is sweet. So on the uh, show side here, you can see uh, you got that uh, cow bone uh, scale there uh, with the uh, polished uh, steel bolsters. You have a nice fuller on uh, that blade. What's up with my lighting here? Oh, I don't have any of my lights on. So there you go. Uh, you can see the white cow bone handle there. On, oh, it's still really oily. Very nice looking uh, VG10 uh, blade. You see brother on the Uh, uh, on the badging along with the VT10 steel. Then on the other side you have the I guess serial number and this is a wonton design? Is that what it says? Wonton? No, either way uh, this was I think $30 and it's a lockback, uh, just a little, um, it's a nice little uh, knife here. Uh, it feels extremely sharp. Let's, uh, uh, I gotta have some paper around here somewhere. I do. Let's see how sharp it is. With the, I, I don't do the mush test like uh, Matisfaction's been doing, but this is cutting paper. It's extremely sharp. I could tell. It, it is very sharp out of the box. And I would say this is... I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Very oily. They do not want this thing rusting at all. I'm going to have to clean this up for sure. But this is a nice, nice little knife. 
Very, uh, very, very small, very discreet. Very oily. Very oily. <laughs> um, I, I guess that's, that's not a horrible thing. It's not like you can't wipe the oil off, but yeah. Uh, thank you, Sobix, for bringing to this to my attention. A uh, shout out to uh, Scotty, uh, Sobix Scooter. So that is the brother. Um, I uh, don't know that I'll end up doing much more of a review about this, but I definitely wanted to get it in. Heard a lot of uh, good things about brother. And yes, this will be featured in an upcoming live stream giveaway. So there's that. And then this one is uh, from Sencut. Sencut is the budget Civivi. It's they're in the Wii knife uh, family. So you have Wii as the premium. You have, I guess, Civivi now as the uh, mid tier, and then you have Sencut going on. Oh yeah! Shout out to Gonzo Reviews. Uh, just got some stickers in from Gonzo. What up, Doc? Uh, so. This is the... I don't remember the name of this one. The Honoris. So, I heard Grumpy Grunt. Shout out to Brother Grumpy uh, talking about this one. And uh, if it's Grumpy approved, I had to figure it was good to go. And, um, wow. Wow. This is done really nice. So it does have the uh, same style Civivi uh, loop over uh, clip. It is not recessed into the scale, but it does have flush fitting screws, which is nice. Very nice. Uh, this one was the, it just says wood uh, handles. I don't know what it is, uh, what kind of wood, but it, uh, it, it looks very good. It's definitely done really well. Uh, obviously a liner lock. Uh, you got uh, steel liners on that. I'm going to assume those are steel liners. Of course they are. Yep. So, uh, picks it up with the magnet. Yes, why wouldn't they be steel on this uh, budget line? Um, I want to say... Ugh, I Let me pause for a second and check the pricing on this. Okay, so I'm back and I just checked... This is $45. So you got $35 for the Brother, $45 for the uh, Sencut Honoris. We, this is a flipper and finger, a uh, very generous finger uh, slot there. And let's give it a go. Very snappy. Check out that blade profile. So this is a bigger knife than I thought it was. This is a, this is a big knife. This is a... Oh, uh, let's see. One, two, three, just shy of four inch blade on this. Um, smooth action, flippers dialed in, the finger uh, flick is dialed in for sure. Great detent on this thing. Very, very good detent. This is for a sub $50 knife. This is very good, Grumpy. You weren't joking with us, was ya? So, you see, you have, it looks like, T8, even T8 uh, body screws? Holy crap, T8 body screws? Um, still T6 on the pocket clip, but uh, that's nice. T8 on the pivots. Yeah, uh, what else? Uh, no, uh, I guess you can kind of use that flat there to, uh, choke up if you need to. No actual choil, but I can get the pad of my finger on there and choke up if I needed to. You see send cut as the, uh, on the badging of the show side. And then I think that these are 9CR. I'm almost certain that this is 9CR. I'm not going to pause and go check. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. I don't see the blade steel marking anywhere on here. Like I said, oh, there it is. Will it focus on there? Yeah, it's 9CR. Let me double check that. Yes, it is 9CR. What the hell? We got a fly that just landed in here? 
Holy crap, look at the size of this fly. Wowzers. Well, that just happened. Well, little guy, I don't want you flying around. All right. Okay. That fly, look at that. What the hell? That's not a bee, that's a fly. That's a giant fly. I don't know where that came from. Pause again. What a crazy video this has been. All these pausings and whatnot. But I just checked, uh, double checked, because my eyes just aren't good enough. And like I said, I don't have my glasses on me. This is 9CR18MOV on the steel. I'm positive that this is running on bearings. Action is wonderful. Very good action. I had heard, again, Grump... It's not that I didn't believe Grumpy by any means. I kept hearing that this was a solid, solid knife, and it is. This is uh, right up there with uh, the Kubes that I've gotten as of late. Again, right around the $50 range for those knives. God, I'm... Hmm. I bought these for giveaways, so I'm not going to keep it, but maybe I'll end up uh, picking one up for myself as well. That's a nice knife. This was $45, so a little bit more expensive than the uh, Brother, but I would say that these are indeed two very good budget uh, knives. And, well, what happened? There. That keeps happening every once in a while where my camera cuts out. Anyway, yeah, that's what I uh, got going on here. The brother, uh, cow... Cowfish. This, again, will be featured in a future live stream giveaway. And the Sencut Honoris will also be featured in a live stream giveaway coming up at some point. I do live streams, uh, my own live streams, every other Saturday. So if you're watching this now, well, of course you're watching it now. Today is, what is today? Today is Monday, Monday, April 25th. And I will be doing my live stream on Saturday, the, I don't know, whatever Saturday is, six days from now. 26th. 27th, 28th, 29th, Saturday the 30th is when I will be doing mine, and you will see one of these knives being given away. I also have uh, some other goodies that I'll be giving away. Um, one of them will be this Lancelot leather coin, copper coin, and then I don't have it on me, but I will be giving away a Rough Rider Baby B with a Lancelot leather slip as well. So this will be featured in the giveaway with one of these knives. I haven't decided which one uh, yet. Uh, one or the other. And yeah, I'm sure I'll have some stickers to give away. Might, uh, since I just got these Gons, Gonzo Reviews uh, stickers, I'll probably include one of those. And yeah, we'll see what else. Try to, again, um, trying to do giveaways when I do the live streams as much as possible. Uh, I, I did purchase these uh, myself with my own hard earned money. Um, every little, uh, every, any little bit of contribution uh, to help out the channel is always appreciated. I've been seeing a lot of people uh, posting pictures of them in said Stevie t-shirts, which just, oh man, it's awesome. Uh, here's another example of something that you can get on the Teespring site. A couple people have sent me pictures of them drinking out of one of these. You can get mugs. And uh, that's all, you know, I'm, I'm making just a couple of bucks on those things. And I'm dumping it right back into the channel, guys. Uh, I'm not asking. Uh, don't, don't, please don't take this wrong. I'm not pandering by any means, but uh, definitely um, helping out uh, in that. That when anytime you purchase something like that, uh, get a couple of bucks and it goes right back into the channel. And so it's for everyone that has. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means the world 
to me that you would even want to have something with my likeness on it. So that's all I got, folks. Appreciate you tuning in. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe. You can do that right there. And then why don't you check out that video right there? And in the meantime, I will talk to everyone later. Deuces!